My name is Uncle Rockers, and this is the story of my relations. I was born under unusual circumstances. It was the 4th of July, and I was told it was an especially good night to be born. But that was some bullshit. I came as soon as I heard. What is it, Doc? There's no easy way to put this. That brown spot on your child's arm. It's a rare and incurable skin disease. It will spread all over his body. His skin will continue to grow blacker and blacker. And blacker and even blacker and more blacker and blacker and then even blacker. Fucking plain English, damn it! I can't understand what you're saying! Eventually he will be indistinguishable from... a Negro. No! Not that! <laughs> Anything but that! No! Stop! <laughs> What are you doing there? Hey! Come here, bitch. Give me something real quick. You ain't said nothing so far about my hair. Cause it ain't yours. It is so mine. I'm the first colored girl you ever met with blonde hair. And one day, I'm gonna have eyes as blue as the summer sky. Bitch, you ain't never in a million fucking years gonna have no blue eyes. You're hairier than a motherfucker, too. Your personality ain't much to speak of, either. Your cooking ain't shit. You ain't clean worth a damn. Nasty, bitch. But I need somebody around here that's gonna wash the shit stains out in my drawers. So I guess you'll do. But, mister, your mama hates me. Mama ain't got much more time left in her. She gonna be dead in a few seconds. You watch and see. I don't know. Look, uh, why don't we go for a walk down by the swamp and talk about it? But what about the... Bitch, I said let's walk by the swamp. Okay, okay. Ain't hey, Juju, tell mama I'll be right back. Lord <laughs> have mercy, what? Who left this motherfucking baby on my steps? Sweet Jesus. I'll cut this motherfucker. No! This ain't no regular baby. It's a white baby. It's the most beautiful white baby in the whole wide world. White baby? Oh, shit. That's all I need. A goddamn white baby kidnapping charge. Bitch, put that thing down before the police come. No, wait. Here's some money. Somebody wanted us to take him. <gasps> shit. Finding white babies might be better than I thought. What's this? Some kind of birthmark? It don't look like no birthmark I ever seen. Who knows? I'm sure it's nothing, mister. Can we keep him? Can we love him forever and raise him to be our own beautiful white child as husband and wife? Fine, bitch. Oh, thank you, mister. What should we name him? We gonna name it after my uncle. Okay, Uncle Ruckus it is. But if the thought has come, you going to jail, bitch. I didn't know nothing about this white baby shit. I'll never forget the day my grandmama, Nellie Ruckus, showed up at my house after all them many years. I'll never forget it, cause it was a day that scarred me for the rest of my natural bone life. Ah! Ow! God damn it! Oh, Uncle, it's you. Nelly? Nelly, is that you? Nigga, I thought you was a burglar. A big, fat, funky, nasty, stinky, black, one-eyed motherfucking burglar. Why the fuck didn't you knock, nigga, you raggedy son of a bitch? I live here. You sass me again, boy, and I'll cut you. What are you doing here? Uncle, I'm dying. Doctor says it's gonna be any day now, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't die in your father's house. I, I haven't seen or heard from you since the day Daddy threw me out 53 years ago. Yeah, so what's new with you? Your daddy always used to say you wouldn't amount to shit. Do you even have a job? I have 47 jobs, actually. Yeah, right. It's one of those jobs that Unabomber. And how am I supposed to die in this fucked up chair? No lumbar support? You want me to die with back problems? You raggedy motherfucker, fucker, fucker. Hey, Robert, I just finished retiling the roof. You still need me to snake out them toilets upstairs? I can do it right now. Only take me three, four hours. Right now? Oh, no. It's getting late. Hey, boys, I got an idea. Why don't we turn off all the lights, I'll get under a sheet, and we can play Clan and the Little Negro. Well, how about you go on a hot date, and I'll stay here and babysit the little coon kitties all night. Ruckus, are you trying not to leave my house? My grandma Nellie just showed up, and she's... Oh, I can't explain it. I just can't go back. Ruckus, everybody got a messed up family. Shoot, look at the boy. What? No, mine is different. <laughs> <laughs> the revitiligo spread rapidly across my whole body, like that black symbiote that turned Topher Grace into Venom in Spider-Man Part 3. By the time I was three years old, I was indistinguishable from any other African Negro child. Uncle! Uncle! I'm coming, mister! 
My adopted Negro father was a loser, even by loser Negro standards. Yes, me, Oscar? Why you frolicking in the damn field? <laughs> Frolic your ass to the store and get me some beer, nigga. He was miserable just for the sake of being miserable. But what I remember most was his unwarranted hatred of the white man. Goddamn crackers. Black man can't get ahead for nothing. I remember him making me feel very ashamed for my very own whiteness. I hate all these white motherfuckers. But mom, I'm white. Daddy's just upset, baby, because he's lazy and the white man makes him work hard. I had two younger brothers. My brother Daryl and my other brother Darrell. But Mr. Always seemed to single me out the way. I would get beaten for anything. Nigga, did you just break that vase? Oh, sweet Jesus! Lord have mercy! My baby! Just having fun with off limits in Mr.'s house. Nigga, did I just catch you having fun? No. Oh, sweet Jesus! Lord have mercy! My baby! Every day, he reminded me of what a failure I was going to be. Miss, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. Nigga, did I just catch you on the be shit? Oh, oh, sweet Jesus! Lord have mercy! My baby! My darling adopted Negro mother, who I loved almost like she was white, did the best she could. Now, don't you listen to him, Uncle. You ain't no worthless nigga. Deep down, deep down in your heart, you always have to believe that you are special. She made sure I knew all my white history. Mama, who's George Washington Carver? He's the man responsible for more peanut allergy deaths than anyone who ever lived. Baby, why don't we read about Eli Whitney instead? He invented the cotton gin. He was a great white man, just like you. Many a night, I dreamed about my biological father returning to take me away to white people land. But it never happened. When I thought it couldn't get no way, my grandmama showed up at the doorstep. I'm dying! She was the only person I ever met more miserable than my daddy. Ugh, look at you. Didn't I tell you you wasn't gonna be shit with your stupid, ugly wife and your stupid, ugly cheerings? I can't wait to die so I don't have to look at your ugly black nigga ass no more. God damn it! Ah, I can't tell you no more! It was very shortly after that my adopted father threw me out of the house. I ain't seen none of them since. Your story is just so powerful and so sad. Real, real sad. I mean, I ain't gonna cry because that's gay, but, but it is real sad. But I don't know what to do. I swear I can't go back home with that woman there. Please don't make me go. Oh, I get it. You leave me in the shack, and you come and hang out in here Nelly. in a fancy motherfucking mansion. Get out of my way, goddammit. Hey, I get out of here, Rob. I get out of here. This. Oh, shit. Now this is a dying chair right here. No, 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 no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's my chair. That's a living chair. Oh, yeah. I might want to get buried.